Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing for Darklight Memento Moroi. Moroi. I probably said that wrong and probably butchered it. Okay guys, this is a adventure game in a dark demon infested world. And I actually want, before I do anything else, the artwork is beautiful. Utterly beautiful. I don't know what the demons are called in this yet, so, but if memory serves me well, Black Knight, Exorcist, Witch, some half demon thing, I can't remember what they're called, so, yeah, so I love the artwork, and again, demons like your classical imp kind of looking demons to me. Oh, okay, so let's try and turn this over, I want to, sh actually, before I turn it over, I want to show you how thick this box is. Can you see that, guys? I'm going to put my hand there. It's thicker than my hand. Alright, it's not a small box. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't looked on the inside yet. I plan to show everything through the unboxing. So if there's anything wrong, we'll see it in the unboxing. Um, I'm hoping not to cause any trouble by doing that. But at the same time, yeah. So, it's the first time I've had a proper look inside it. Okay, you are, you, you are aroused, awoken from a deep slumber by the agmatic Grim Warden, and you're forced into the path of misery and death. How long will your body be able to endure the bone-crushing blows or the flesh-rendering claws of demon fiends? Can your mental mind endure the, hor the horrific, soul-shattering visions of vile creatures from the abyss, or will you succumb to insanity? Okay, guys. So let's go here. Yeah. So this is this is actually not light. It's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. I wouldn't be surprised. I think Kingdom of Death is heavier, but this ain't far off. Um. Okay, so. As I said, you get the... Oh, it's an outcast. Okay, so you get the Black Knight. I was correct on that one. You get uh, one outcast, an exorcist, and a blood witch. You get a few other things, but we'll have a look at them on the inside in a second. I'm not going to even try to determine if I know what they are yet. Okay, so let's take the lid off. And have a quick look at the inside. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've done this bit. I have opened up to have a quick look at the inside here. As you can see, I've opened this little bit here. Okay, so let's have a, let's take this out. This is the Arata. Okay, so some little bits there. I don't know. Again, I don't know what all of this means yet. You also get your settlement location. So there's a little bit of stuff on the inside. I don't want to show too much. Actually, this is online anyway, if I, be, I believe, for free. So I'm not showing anything I shouldn't. So you got these different sort of horses. I'm not sure what any of this does yet. Again, I haven't read for the rules properly yet, guys. I should have. I've had the game. Uh, downloaded on my phone the rules for a little while. It's just I've not got around to doing it. So yeah, there's a few things here I'm looking forward to giving this a go. I mean, I really 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 am um, Okay, so you've there's your character sheets. I like the fact you actually get character sheets That was one thing I was hoping to see For when I went to salute the other day for the Star Trek and there wasn't any there So I was a little upset even though you can download it. I like having these sort of things Okay, so that's there. I and mean, as you look on, sorry, as you look on the other side, that's your settlements. Now, it tells you which one, you know, like Level Hamlet, what they will have, and so on. I'm all, I'm looking forward to seeing what this does because, to be honest, guys, one of my favourite, um, one of my favourite uh, dungeon crawlers from back in the day was uh, Warhammer Quest. It had a lot of flaws. I'm the first to admit that. You, for one, you know how easily you could die two, you know, and so on, but it was one of my favourites, and I'm hoping they got the complete randomness from that, Ram how, how random it is, and I'm wondering if you could just do a one-off adventure and so on, so again, this is what I should be getting on the inside, what you kind of saw on the back, this should be how many rooms I should get, I'm not going to do too much, you know, they've got other optional rules from there, you, sorry, other a little bit here. I better be careful so you guys can actually see it, not just me see it. <laughs> so I don't want to show too much, but I'm liking what I'm kind of what I've seen so far and so on. Okay, this is the quest. This is the quest book. 
This one I'm not opening, guys. Um, I'm just going to show you the back bit of it. My re Actually, what I'll do is I'm just going to do... Oh, no, I'm not even going to do that. There's an adventure straight away there. So I'm not going to even show that. But there's the Grim, Grim Warden. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we've got the cards on the back. Now, I want to be careful with this because... Yeah, I've damaged the bag already. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay, but this lovely tape thing they've put across the top. I've got to get that off because now me, I'll end up damaging a card. I'm just going to rip that off. Um, let's take this out. Now, I'm not going to show everything, guys. I'm just going to show a little bit of artwork. Wow, these are not as thick as I thought they were going to be. I thought we were getting quite thick cards. No, I'm not having a go at them or anything. It's just stuff like that does worry me a, a little bit. So you've got this Colossus Dreadworm. The Sharan Berserker, I'm not sure if I said that, a Sharan the Warlord, a Shadow Lurker, so, actually I'll show you the artwork of the other ones, I just saw there, sorry for the light guys, if I don't have the light on behind me you can't see very well, the, oh, the Cultist Overlord, that looks kind of cool, uh, the Wailing Walls, oh god it's actually an enemy, oh wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, the Dreadworm, which look, I think is like humans. So you've got the Colossus Dreadworm and you've got Dreadworm. You've got a Grim Cultist. I'm not showing the stats on the other side, guys. You've got the Sharon Brute. Sharon Shaman. The Sharon... I know I'm probably saying it wrong, guys. So, Hunter. You've also got the uh, Scavenger. Lurker Scout. Okay. Just a lurker. So you've got different types of demons. So if I'm liking this, a devourer. That's kind of cool. A devote. What? A devent. Mm, so let me zoom in for a minute. Devented. I know. I know. I said that wrong. A sea. Oh, that well, looks kind of cool. I so I like that sort of like demon thing there. A crawler's eggs. So obviously we've got the crawler. Now that that it kind of reminds me of the thing. Really got a thing sort of thing going there. I've got a vibe coming off of that. Oh, oh, I might be showing something too much. I'm not sure. Let's take. Oh, I think this is a reference sheet. Okay, so you've got some reference sheets. You've got four of them, obviously, because you've got four players. You can have up to four players. I can have more than that, though. You've got the Blood Warlock on one side. And I think on the other side, you've got the Witch. So there's alternative um, gender models. Was we meant to get them with a Kickstarter? Or was they optional? Or are they in the quest bit that I didn't get that I need to be uh, expecting? The Outcast, which I also know is the female model in this one. You also get the Exorcist. Again, I don't want to show the stats. I don't want to talk too much about these things. You also got the female, uh, male version and the female version. I think the stats are exactly the same. This is the character I want to use. Even though he's got a bad mental thing, I might probably end up using the Exorcist knowing me. And his initiative is a little slow. But, this is the character I actually want to use. Just because it's the Black Knight. And I, I just have this thing about using the Black Knight. I don't know why. It's just me like, oh, want to use. Okay. So guys, I'm just going to put these to one side. Because I don't want the cards to go missing, falling over, or get damaged. Or have a damn cat come along and tread on them. Okay, so look, I need to be careful. With it. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. I need to be careful with these. You've got... Again, I need to hold this in a certain way so where the light's not going. So you've got a sort of what looks like a pentagram sort of room. You've got the different bits to put on your... Oh, that's kind of... That's really cool, actually. I like that. How's it? Um, healer. House. Justin. Dark Enclave. Crypt. Castle. Alchemy. Alchemist, sorry. And something guild. Okay, so let's work our way to this room down here, guys. Let me zoom out a bit for a minute so we can see things a little bit better with the rooms. I like these. These look really cool, the tiles. Again, it's got uh, kind of a shadowy... Shadows of Brimstone, Warhammer Quest, Advanced, War, uh, advanced uh, Hero Quest feel to me, if I'm being honest here, guys. That's a boulder with the arrow saying going forward. I love the fact you can see a little arm sticking out there. It looks all bloodied. Uh, let's turn it around this way for a second. So have a look at this room, and now that I've got a funny feeling there's stairs, so this looks like you'd walk, you'd walk up this bit, then have to go to that bit, then walk, oh, that's cool, 
At least I think that's what would happen. I could be wrong. Okay, so you then got wound tokens. It looks like the wounds have a single and fives. Different from certain other things, so they're plain tokens on the other side. Again, I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to cause things to come out as I'm doing the video and things get slightly damaged. <laughs> so that one, I could probably tell what that one is going to be now, so I might be doing dice rolls for certain things. But that's my fault. No one else's, because you were warned about these certain things to begin with. Okay, so let's put that over there for the second, guys. Okay, so now you've got the trackers. Yeah, I've only got one, one sheet. So you've got the head, chest, feet. Oh, let me zoom in for you guys, sorry. Let me zoom in, I need to be careful at the same time because I don't want to damage anything being, you know, just holding this one hand. Head, feet, arms, oh, sorry, head, chest, feet, arms, belt, left hand, right hand, utility, which looks like a cloak, accessory looks like jewelry, and heirloom looks like a necklace. And there are four of them. So, count up to four players. You also have your, oh, let me bring it there. You also have some ball, uh, book bookcases. Obviously, probably like a den, uh, an entrance or uh, the exit to the place. I like, actually, these are quite thick. I thought as well the cards would be, you know, the monster cards would be this sort of thick. There is a book token. There looks like there is some armor. There is a barrel. Okay, let's turn it around the other side. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. Yes, there is. There is a fireplace. There is a desk. There is... Okay, that looks like a wardrobe. I need to hold this again. Be careful, Matthew. You don't want to damage anything. You also get... What the hell is that? A oh, fireplace, sorry. That looks like a demon pentagram. A lever. Oh, it's a bit dark here, isn't it? Uh, a lever. And I'm not... Oh, it's, it's an idol. Or a symbol of some sort. Okay, so let's come over here for a second. Now, also want to uh, let you guys know I'm having a vote at the end. Let me know what you would like me to do for the uh, next uh, video. I've only got two expansions. I'm waiting for one to be sent to me. So I've got a funny feeling these must mean something else. That looks like a flaming skull. And that looks like two skulls screaming. And that goes all the way to there. And then you've got... Sturum? Stirum? Not sure what that is yet, guys, so... Then you've also got what looks like the Colossus Worm. Another Steerum, a two token. That looks like... Oh, let me come out a bit. Uh, let me come a bit further out, and then let me zoom... Zoom out for a second. You might be... Yeah, you can see it a little bit better. That is actually a blade that's dropping down on the door. That is really cool. Then you've got a plain large room. Another plain large room, which has the same sort of tiles. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, guys. There is your hallway. Now I'm going to turn this over. And then the, let's look at these for a second. So these now have turned into even more flamey heads and screamy faces. Not sure what they mean yet. That stays the same. The Colossus Worm has stayed the same. And now we've got a child. Not sure whether we've got a child's face, but or it could be an NPC. Again, that lovely looking door that will hack you in half. And um, a corridor that's got a little bit more stuff in it. Broken things, a chest. So on. But then we've also got what looks like a soul fire underneath, a rickety bridge, with some steps working its way down to the end. And this one looks like it's a tomb, maybe for a lady. I do have to say, I do like the artwork they've done for these tiles. And it, it's taken over two years for this Kickstarter to come out. So, okay, so I'm guessing these are some form of potion. So let me just go to here for a second. Sorry, my friends. Let me. Oh no, I've hit the wrong thing here. I moved the wrong bit. Sorry there. Okay, so you can actually see there is some potions. Now I'm assuming they're probably health potions of some sort. Maybe could even be soul potions. I don't know. Or is another one of them screamy things? I'm assuming that's the berserker. That's another NPC. Um. That looks like a Wailing Souls. Okay, so now we've got the actual picture side this time, guys. So you've got another corridor with that sort of nice looking stuff. You've now got another large room that looks like it's led into a throne room. I like the armor sets that's got they got along the sides, the columns, the shadowing. I like this. This has got a lot of feel to it. 
And then this to me says it's a statue to the demon god. We're in a like maybe a temple of some sort. This looks cool. Really, I might even use some of this. You know what I do? I, I, I'm hoping to get Warhammer roleplay, and I might even use some of these tiles for like a dungeon. Oh, my arm just caught the camera. Sorry, guys. Okay, so then you've got the plain side. Again, I, I think that's when it's dead or been knocked over. You got the number one token. Empty potions, by the looks of it. And again, some large rooms that basically. Again, I'm trying to make sure this doesn't come out on me. It's come out a bit. As you can sort of see, that's two rooms that are almost identical. Ah, actually, they're just identical in that sort of sense. Okay, let's put that over there for a second. So now let's grab. Uh oh. Oh, 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 I need to be careful because, as I said, you need to push them in a certain way, and if you don't push them in a certain way, things get damaged. Okay, so let's have a look here. Now, I'm not sure what this is. That looks like it could be quicksand or something. It kind of looks cool, though, I have to say. You've then got faith tokens. I'm assuming that's to do with the uh, exorcist. A cool-looking corridor, if I might say so. It could be trapped. You've got like skeletons there. Some sh I love the shadowing they've actually done to a lot of this, if I'm being honest. Then it looks like that's an old room that's had a pentagram been used to kill someone. Damaged doors, I'm assuming. Or damaged portcullis. There's two of them. You've then got picklocks and blessed water. You've then got some chests. More faith tokens. The undamaged portcullis and these heart things now I'm assuming they definitely mean something you've then got the uh, obviously the lurker and I think that's a cultist bit up there again I'm, I'm waiting for the expansion which I think actually has all that other bits in it oh I didn't show the other side did I guys let me turn this quickly over oh please don't come out <laughs> sorry and Again, that's when they're down, I believe, with the body. That just seems to make sense. I think them heart things are when you've used something. Again, that's down. The damage portcullis. Faith token twos. Again, pick locks and blessed water. And the loot when it's been opened. I can... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. A, um, sorry, guys. I was about to say. And again, the pick locks and blessed water. But I couldn't say it for some weird reason. I'm probably tired. <laughs> Okay, so you've also got the corridor, another sort of empty-ish room, and another empty square room. Now we're going on to another tile here. I've got a ho I can hope, I'm hoping I can get, ooh, I just want to point out guys, they actually put something in the corner. I'm going to keep it there, I'm going to show you probably near the end. It's a little foam thing, I think that's a really good idea actually. Okay, so let's hold this here. This looks like an entrance, or an escape, you know, like you're leaving the dungeon sort of thing. A nice little tea junction. Another portcullis. Some more faith tokens. What how many of these I've got here, guys? <laughs> Another portcullis. I'm assuming that. Ooh. They could be something to do with souls or mana. You've got a X junction. An L junction in the corner. And some more of the other tokens there. Now let's turn this around. And let's see what's on the other side. Not much. If I'm honest, um, those soul tokens look like mist, if they're mist, or mana tokens. The T junction is the same. Now that bit with the stairs has turned into a small corridor. The X junction is still the same. The L junction is still the same. The loot seems to go to other bits, and the faith bit goes to twos. So it's all more. Um, I like the tiles, guys. I am very liking how thick they are and stuff like that. My problem with um. The Affliction, when I like the Affliction, if I'm being honest, I love what they've done, I love the artwork they've got on the tiles. My only problem with that is how thin the tiles are. But then saying that, that box is kind of heavy. If I had this thick cards, I wonder how heavy it would actually be. Again, you've got another one of them nice looking corridors with the sort of like body in the corner. We've got some uh, see-through portcullises. We have some tokens, I think that's to keep it random. I've got D4s and stuff like that, so that wouldn't be a problem for me. Um, I've also got... Oil flasks, blessed water, oil flask, blessed water, um, bandages, now they sound important, really important. You've also got the Black Knight token, another door token, more bandages, more NPCs by the looks of it. 
But then there's also this, what looks like a torture room. And I do have to say I'm quite, I need to just come up a bit if I can here guys. There's someone, like a, a, a zombie kind of thing there that I think looks great. You've got a nice little light bit there, blood on the floor there. This looks really cool. Now this one here, to me, could be a temple of some sort. I think that looks great. What they've done, you know, like how decayed and de everything sort of has gone. Ah. Sorry guys, something wants to come out. <laughs> uh, again, so, so on the other side you've got like the bandages are still bandages, the flasks are still flasks. Certain things become... What were they again? Oh, they're the other tokens, so they could be random and stuff like that. And then you've got the basic corridor, another large corridor, and a, another still room. Now let's have a look what's over here. This looks like it's exactly the same as the last one, except for it has one more token upon it, guys. It has the blacksmith token. But the rest of it looks almost identical to the last one. If I'm being honest, I don't see much difference. Let us turn over. I am right in some ways, not in all, because some of these chests are possessed. A rare one. Oh, so I can see, okay, fair enough, I need to make sure these things don't get damaged then. Uh, because then that could also lead to people just going, okay, I'm going to pick that one up. Okay. Okay, so you've got the darkness wheel. I believe you start here. And you work your way around if you roll a certain number. Again, I'm not 100% sure how this works. Another rolling token in. Yep. Some more bookcases. More bookcases, more bookcases. A pitfalls. I like that. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, dot trap door, trap door, switches. But again, I'm not too sure what these things are. Could be secret door, may not be. And there's some barrels. Let's turn it over. The dread will. Uh, we'll find out what the hell that means at some point. Another closet. Another table. A wheel that's still crushing someone. A lovely looking fireplace. Uh, fire, fire. Cave in, cave in, cave in, cave in, cave in, cave in. Warp, warp, stairs, stairs, warp. Trap? I'm not sure what that one would be. Um, maybe a switch. You know, you've trodden on something you shouldn't. I'm not opening the cards, guys. Normally I would open some to have a look at, but until I get round to playing, I don't want to do that. I got, I'm not sure what's on these cards, and I want to keep them in place for the meantime. Sorry, I know in my other videos you saw me open these things and so on. Also guys, I've got this. It's a nice little thing in the corner which I will be putting back just to make sure I think it's safe. I don't like how flimsy the box is though guys. I mean, everything else I've got, the cards for the uh, creatures and because that's really kind of flimsy. I'm hoping that can sort of be kept in other way. So there's events in there. That's obviously rant for random rooms. I'm liking this. This is already screaming uh, Hero Quest. No, I mean, not Hero Quest. Advanced Hero Quest and um, Warhammer Quest to me and Shadows of Brimstone. So, Death Toll. So, there's different sort of things on the back here. So, you've got the. Okay, so I'm not sure what these are yet. So, Marketplace. Again, I'm, I'm not actually opening these. Uh, another Marketplace card with a great sword, which does some really nice stuff. Request plus five strength. Five plus strength. Okay, so you also got the nice little cloak thing there and spells. And some blank cards. Oh, we'll find out what they are for at some point. And then I believe that's probably a spell. Okay, guys, now at the moment of truth. Let's have a look how the models look. As I said, I'm, I'm taking taking a risk. I did this with Dark Souls. I'm hoping I don't have a repeat of that. Because um, that upset me. I'm not being funny. It did upset me a little. It took me ages to get the right stuff sent to me as well. And I'm hoping that's not happened here. And so far, wow, these look good. These do look good. Except for one or two models might be facing the wrong way. Okay, so where do I start? Okay, I know where I'm going to start. Let me come down for a start and show you guys this like this. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the dice. Okay, so you get quite a few dice. I'm, I'm liking this because there's so many games you play now, you'll get three dice or something like that, and you have to buy more dice. I like the fact they've done this. Also, I've given you some tokens. Kind of cool. Simple. I haven't got a problem with that. 
Oh wow, so there is some stuff here that I'm not too sure if these are some of the card things, because that looks like the Dreadworm and some of the other things. Anyway, I'm looking forward to having a look at this. These are your little door bits to hold in the portcullises. There's a few of them, there's some bits underneath. We'll have a look at all that in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up the outcast, I'm going to put my hand behind, and I'm going to zoom in a little. Now the detail on the models are actually very good. Um, the models themselves don't feel too bad. I have to. Uh, do you know what? Kudos, guys. Kudos. This look. This does look really, really good. You can even see her little um, shaved bits horns. I'm not great. Ah. Okay. I've seen a problem. I've seen my first problem. But at the same time, a little bit of warm water. You can bend it back. But don't try and bend it beforehand, guys. You'll end up probably snapping the model. But look at that beautiful like, crown. Yeah, I'm impressed with this. I'm actually quite... Oh, look at that cloak. The damage to it and all of that. I like it. I'm not too impressed about it being bent. But and then at the same time, nothing's actually broken. And it's easily fixed. So... But then when you put it back into there, it looks like the way it's put in there, it will bend anyway. Okay, so now you've got... The witch, who looks like her... Okay. She don't look like she's on there properly. Let me put my hand on behind so it zooms in. Okay, she, again, I don't mind the detail on the model. Let me zoom in so you can see a bit better, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, again, I can't paint well, guys, so I know I'm not going to do a good job on this. If I do paint it. And I use the words if I do, because I'm not really a painter. But I do like what I'm seeing. Um... The hero models so far have, are looking great to me. The X, I love it. They even got like some one parchment. Shame there's not another one there, but I'm not going to complain on that. Look at the detail, guys. I like this. I'm really like. Oh, is that a little bit of damage? Yeah, nothing that can't, can't be dealt with. Yeah, I'm, you know, there's a little. There's some model lines. There's nothing too bad, guys. At the end of the day. Even like good models have them, some of them. Okay, so where do I start next? I'm going to start, I believe these are the Lurker Scouts. So look underneath, no they don't say. Yeah, that, I think these are the Lurker Scouts. They, they blood, look at the scales guys, look at the, well that looks like it's a throwing ring or it's something they, yeah it looks like they, have, they might throw it, but at the same time it's like some sword thing they've got in like circle. They've got the horns and everything. These guys look great. I also like the fact they've got this nice little bit there. I know some people probably just cut that off. For me, that says it's going to stay there. So you've got six of them, I believe. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the next thing I'm going to grab is the spear guys up here. Now, I think these are just your lurkers. The other ones are your scouts. These are just your lurkers. Yeah, that... Again, I like I like the detail they've got on the body, the spear, everything. I'm enjoying this. I'm, I feel like a little kid in a candy store this <laughs> minute, guys. When I get to play my little toys, my toys, my toys. Um, okay, so where am I going to go now? I'm going to go for, I think these were scavengers, but these could be warriors. There could be a different one that's scavengers. So I apologise, guys. But look at that, that's like a jawbone on a club. A shield that looks like it's got like yeah it's got rope going through so in a way that's kind of useless because you could cut the rope but yeah but also look at the power the muscles the muscles in the legs oh, wow the spikes down the back you can see yeah again you can see some model sort of model bits so there there is some things that may be not great but I can see past that because how good the rest of the detail of these models are and again, you get six of them. Now I'm going to go for something different. Okay, so I've got... Okay, let me put, see if I can... No, you can't see them because my, it's my hands over here. They, I think these are 12 of these. These are the... Oh, I can't remember what they're called now. They're not your crawlers. They're called something else. Uh, well, it's bad that I can't remember, but hey-ho. They do look like... Oh, wow. It's like a worm thing with the teeth, and the teeth look like they like when they grab onto you, they would like sort of like shark's teeth. So, but I am a little worried about putting them back. Um, let me just try and move this for you so you can see what I mean. 
They're like, they're, there's 12 of them. Right, next, I'm going to do one of these scorpion looking things. These are devourers, if I remember rightly. And, oh, wow, that looks cool. But it's, the only problem I've got here is it looks like it's, it's shown all its internal organs, so it looks like it could be killed easily in that sort of sense. It has this eye, obviously, for things. So I'm thinking there's going to be some mental damage with that. But it does. It does look really cool. The only thing it's missing, I think, is maybe like a scorpion claw or something. But at the same time, it does look really, dim, you know, probably evil. And, and let's try and put that. So there's six of them. And I'm trying to put this back without damaging anything. Let's put you there so I don't damage the spear. Right. So from there, I believe these are the shamans. And, ah, okay. Already I've, I found another one that's bent, but at the same time, I'm not complaining, guys, because it's not broken. And with these things, you can always find things that are broken. Wow, I'm liking, I love the, how the robe's damaged. A bone sort of, is that bones around its thing? Is it eating something in one of its hands, or is it sticking? No, it's holding something. Is that a heart? It looks like it could be a heart. So there's the horns, the helmet, the... Feathers on the end with skulls and so on. This this looks good. This looks good. Well, you got three of them. So there's more stuff to come here, guys. So I'm going to grab one of the berserkers. Because there's three of these guys. And these things are huge. And it needs to focus. Ah, oh, it's done it for me anyway. So again, it looks like it's got some face it, some people's heads that have been decomposing on the end of its weapon. That is brilliant. Skulls around its chest. Skulls, are they worms or fur? I'm not sure. Spikes everywhere, muscles. Yeah, this is this is good. I'm liking this. Sorry, guys, I keep moving around. Look at the face on that, guys. Again, I could use some of these things as like cornetic demon, you know, uh, for corn. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, I want to get this back in without anything being bent, and I'm having a bit of a hard time here, guys. Whoever put this in there, good on you. You seem to have done a better job than I would have. I could have done. Now, this is obviously the dread... I think this is the dread worm. Let me come back out. Back out. Sorry, guys. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Ah, but again, really model sort of lines. Just a little bit of filler, and that will look all right. Again, sort of a little bit there, but as I'm saying, guys, a little bit of filler, and you'll be all right. Me, I'm probably I'm probably gonna leave them unpainted because I can't. I'm terrible at painting. And I don't like painting. Um, it's part of the hobby I don't like, but it, I, I do do it sometimes. If you if you've watched one of my Shadows Brimstone gameplay videos, you see I have painted one or two things. Not many things, but one or two. I'm not sure I get that back in. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, let's put that there like that. Let's put that there like that, and that worked. But again, that that one's not in there properly. It was in there a lot more comfortable earlier, and I'm a little worried about that. Okay, so now I need to lift, lift this, lift this part out, so I can have a look underneath, and I'm trying to make sure nothing goes flying on me. Okay, so there's more things underneath here, guys, so that's really cool. Ah, wow, so there's actually more stuff underneath this, as, oh, no, there isn't. So let's lift this out, because this is, these are the ones I probably will end up painting, if I am going to paint first, because I don't know why, I seem to paint small things first. So let's start off with the crawler's eggs. Wow, that looks cool. That looks really good. It's got like a, uh, you know, the Zerg kind of thing in in StarCraft, like the the eggs for them. But now, if we look at the crawlers, now for me, these crawlers, if you ever see the thing, the first one, and there's this head bit when it comes off and it starts crawling around the ground, that's what they kind of look like to me. Um, that, that's, so there's 12 of them, there's four, four eggs, um, these are obviously your archers for the scroll, what is it, well, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, again I apologise for that guys, obviously bows, so it's good if you've got some missile troops in here as well, that makes me smile, I do like that, it's good detail, do you know what, I wasn't, exp I, I have to say, Kudos to DIG. Guys, please, please bring out some more stuff for this. I think this world could do, you know, I like what I'm seeing. There's still enough content here, but I'd like to hear that you do more with this. So please, please. 
because I'm enjoying what I'm seeing at this minute. Also, let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of these models when you're looking at them? Do you think they look great? Do you think this would be something you'd want to get yourself? I'm liking this. I'm thinking this looks really cool. I like that. So it's got this mysterious sort of like flow behind it. So you you can't see its feet. This is a cultist, I believe. So yeah. So there's um. I got again. Sorry, guys. There were twelve. Sorry, six archers, six cultists, and how many of these am I meant to have? Ba -bum. Ba -bum -bum. Okay, six of these as well, but I'm just trying to fit them in properly. And then you've got these kind of like, oh, deformed or something, I can't remember what they're called properly. Again, this, it's got like a thing film to me. Now, I was hoping to have the other expansion, which I didn't actually get. Uh, well, I am meant to be getting, but I'll be getting it later. I was one of those unlucky few that basically um, was unfortunate to pull the uh, short straw on that. But then saying that, guys, I have the content to play the game. It means I can play the basics, and I think I can, I'll can. i be happy with that. I like the stands. Quite nice and thick. Again, I like how there's a sort of like demon... My hand behind there, the demon sort of bit there, and a angel on the other. So yeah, uh, so all in all, the doors I have. So you got one at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen doors, sort of bits. Okay, guys. But as I said, when I um, in a second, I'm going to grab the other. Ah, it's fitted in now. I'm happy about that. Like, I, I'm not fearing putting this back in. Um, I don't know. Some of the little guys have moved around and one corner decided to go in before the other. Okay, so let's put that guy back where he's meant to be like that with the others. Let's put you there. As I said, guys, I've got a vote. Now, I didn't get the other expansion, which was a little annoying, which will give me, I think it gives you some more dungeon stuff, like monsters, a possessed model and so on. No, no, the possessed, sorry. A, um, the, oh, what's it called? Oh, gold. Please move. Please, I don't want to damage. I'm not putting this in properly. So I'm going to leave that there for a minute and I'm, I'm going to try and use two hands for that. I don't want to damage my box. So for my next unboxing, then it might happen next week. Might happen a little bit later. I can't promise stuff because I've got other unboxings I've got to do as well. But Dark Light. Memento Tomore Adventurer's Pack Supplement. Okay, so that's, if that's the one you want me to do. Or would you like me to do the Boss Pack? Which is the larger creatures and so on. Let me know in the comments down below. Also guys, if you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, everyone is welcome. And help me on the road to 1,000. Also guys, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Tell me what you think. Was you interested in getting this game? Was it something that you also backed yourself? Are you impressed with it? Was you not impressed with it? Let me know in the comments down below. And also guys, I hope you're having a good day. I know I am. I really enjoyed actually going through this. Have a good day.